Hi, it's Jesse from Peach Manifesto and welcome to another accents video. So I did purchase the new gel play collection um, from Nove Wholesale in Saskatoon. This collection has mahogany, which is uh, the gel paint that I'm showing you right now, um, indigo, and I feel like it's coming across very blue on film, but it it is that kind of like blue purple. And then we have charcoal, which is a lovely dark gray. And let's get into the swatching. I thought I'd start off with mahogany. Um, I have used this on a client and it was actually really stunning. It is like a very like brownie red, like you would imagine a true mahogany to be. Um, it went on very smooth. I did see a little shadow, so I kind of like fixed that up before I cured it. All of these were one coat. Um, as long as I had enough product on my brush, as you see, I went back for a little bit more. So I wasn't like fully dry brushing. And you can see I'm like pressing my brush down pretty hard. It does have really amazing coverage. That is how the gel paints work. They are um, amazing coverage. And this is charcoal. Um, I love the gel paints. They're like a thicker consistency, but you can get them to kind of even out really nicely. They're great for art or just like a full coverage color. Um, it's kind of cool that they've been coming out with a few more. As you can see, like they don't move. Like I, I decided to show you them tipped over. They really don't move. And I feel like the colors aren't coming across 100%. I feel like the indigo does have a bit more of a purple to it. The mahogany has a bit more brown. These are the gel paints that I thought would like most compare. So I have the brown, the red, and the mahogany together. As you can see, it's kind of like a mix between those two. And then for the indigo, I thought I'd bring out my purples and blues that I have. Nothing comparable to that either. And then with uh, gel play black and charcoal, um, I feel like in person there's a bigger difference than what you're seeing here. And of course I had to do a little demo um, and I'm just using the charcoal on top of the aloof and it paints lovely. It's great for swirls. I feel like if you practice your swirls, you can pretty much make any like gel paint uh, work for you. I'm not one to say that, oh, it has to be a specific brand. If there's a brand that you love and they have a gel paint, if you practice with it, you can make it work. Um, that being said, I do really like the Accents gel paint. I really like their consistency. I love that it doesn't move um, and you get nicer kind of raised lines because it is a thicker consistency. Um, yeah, what else can I say about the colors? Um, when I did a comparison to kind of like other Luxio products, um, Mahogany was definitely the most unique. I didn't have anything in my um, gel play, Luxio, or options that really came close to it at all. Um, absolutely nothing that came close to it once it was swatched and cured. Um, indigo, I would say um, it's kind of in that same tone as like Lookout or Modern, but it's darker and it has a bit more purple, but it's in that family. So like similar, but not the same. And then for charcoal, I would say it's, there is a gray that it compares to, but it's still darker. I think it was Storm that it compared to, but the charcoal is still darker. Um, but yeah, not as unique as the other colors. And I like to use the gel play art powder to give these like a really matte finish. And um, I, I do add a lot because if you see any little bit of shininess, you want to keep covering it. And then once you cure it, you'll get a beautiful matte design. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later. Bye bye.